For the next lecture, chapter number two, we have started already, and the name of the chapter is lifestyle of animals. Few topics we have discussed, and today the topic which we are going to discuss is movement in animal. In movement in animal, we have discussed land animals, water animals, and now we are going to discuss insects. reptiles and birds how the movement takes place in animals movement means from move to move from one place to another to go from one place to another that can be the reason can be the food shelter or reproduction protection so how the insects move open your books at page number 19 the topic insects you know that insects have six legs you have seen a lot of insects in your surrounding they have six legs most insects use their legs to move around you have seen different insects uh, crawling creeping uh, and they use their legs to move from one place to another water insects for example the water boatman it is a type of insect they use their legs or oars as oars to swim oars you know that uh, when we are uh, going for boating there is a boat and there are oars with which we can move the water back and then the boat goes forward these are called oars and uh, the boatman uses its legs like oars it push the water back with the help of its legs and move forward that's why it is called as a boatman insects have no feathers bones or strong muscles they do not have strong muscles feathers and bones butterfly is also included in insects few insects they have uh, like wings butterflies bees and house flies have wings that help them to fly they do not use their legs to move from one place to another in spite of it they use their wings to move from one place to another their wings are thin delicate and made up of tiny scales they are very delicate and they are made up of very tiny scales so few insects they use their legs to move boatman use its legs like oars butterflies bees and house flies they use their wings to move from one place to another next is reptiles you know that reptiles they have scales on their body most of the reptiles like turtle crocodile and lizard the lizard you have seen in your uh, houses and it has short limbs i have told you what are limbs for example these arms and legs these are limbs so in the reptiles they have short limbs with which they move these limbs help them crawl they crawl like babies as you have seen that smaller baby crawl on the ground likewise they crawl on the walls and on the ground snake is a legless reptile snake they do not have legs they have uh, some scales or plates 
inside the body which help it to move or crawl okay so uh, just remember that in reptiles they have short limbs to crawl like lizard like crocodile and turtle they have short limbs to move or crawl and snakes they do not have legs while they have scales or plates inside the body which help in the movement next is birds birds have also limbs four limbs and hind limbs four limbs they are changed into feathers the four limbs are changed into feathers and they use feathers to fly in the air for the moment they use feathers while the uh, hind limbs they are used as legs they can move on the ground with the help of legs and these help uh, these legs help the birds to sit and to grasp the branches of the trees and the sitting or grasping the branches of the trees is called perch what is perch what do you mean by perch to uh, perch means to hold the branch of the tree in with the claws okay this is called perch so let's read the four limbs of the birds are modified into wings they use them to fly they use their hind limbs to walk run hop sometimes they are walking sometimes they are running sometimes they are hopping means jumping on land for or perch on the trees these legs help them to uh, perch on the tree i have told you that perch means to sit on the or to hold or grasp the branch of the tree is called perch next topic which we are going to discuss is migration migration means to move for short time period or for long time period uh, like from one place to another this is called migration to move from one place to another uh, let's open your books at page number 20 the seasonal movement of animals over large distances means they can they can cover a large distance even a thousands of miles as well in the migration due to the shortage of food unfavorable climatic conditions or to breed is called migration means the seasonal movement Uh, during different seasons they move from one place to another and the reasons for their migration is that maybe the conditions are not suitable for their survival so they move from the uh, intense conditions towards the conditions where they have the suitable environment the second reason can be the food maybe uh, in different seasons they have the shortage of the food and to fulfill uh, their food requirements they migrate from one place to another and the third reason can be breed breed means to produce their young ones so here are some examples one is siberian crane uh, some animals okay uh, first of all for migration they use some techniques number 1 the animals use sea and air currents to guide them sometimes the sea currents and air currents means the movement of the sea and the movement of the air help or guide them to move next is birds follow the coastline to find their direction while flying they use the coastline coastline coast what do you mean by coast the beach of the sea they use that coastline to uh, while they are flying and the reindeer use the sun rays to find their direction 
they use the sun rays to find their direction in this way it means that animals birds they are so intelligent that they are using the water currents they are using the air currents they are using the sun rays they are using uh, uh, the beach coastline so uh, they use such methods to migrate from one place to another and siberian crane visits pakistan every year siberian crane visits pakistan every year in winter it means the place where they are present there is a severe winter weather so they move from there to pakistan in the winter it then goes back to siberia during summer and during summer it they go back to siberia siberian crane uh, the picture is present at your book and second one is monarch it is a butterfly butterfly you know is a very delicate but they cover a long distance they move from canada to mexico they move from canada to mexico during winter season winter season is not suitable in canada for the monarch butterfly so they move from canada to mexico during the winter season and likewise eels eels are the fishes and they travel in a large groups to sea to lay eggs they move from the rivers to the seas to lay eggs they move from the rivers to the seas to lay eggs in a large number of groups on hatching on hatching means when they are going to uh, produce the new young ones on hatching the parent eels dies on hatching the parent eels dies while the baby eels come back to the rivers where their parents came from means they have a sense to go back to the rivers the baby eels on hatching the mothers dies and the baby eels come back to the rivers from where the parents have come into the sea next is the next example is locust locust uh, are the insects that migrate in summer uh, in uh, the previous months they came into pakistan and they destroy a lot of crops standing crops in the pakistan these are called locust locust damage standing crops in the field next example is arctic terns arctic terns is the champion in migration means it covers too much longer distances while migration it breeds in the arctic region in summer arctic tern is a champion in migration it breeds in the arctic region in the summer it then travels at uh, travels a distance of 17000 km to the antarctic region from the arctic region they go into antarctic region and they cover 17000 km in the uh, and arctic during the winter and again goes back covering the same distance and on the favorable condition on the favorable weather conditions they go back and cover too much long distances now come to words the homework uh you open your books at page number 21 your exercise in the exercise a part you will do question number 8 list the various organs in the bodies of the animals that help them to move we have discussed different organs in the insects reptiles and birds you will mention few of them as an answer how are the wings of the birds different from those of insects the answer is present at the portal you will do or read how the wings are different from the wings of insects the wings of the bird is different from the wings of the butterfly so you will uh, know the answer uh, so write it by own self
uh, why do animals migrate there are three reasons why the animals migrate read the topic and write the answers next b part you will fill the blanks man is an dash which category in which category it falls herbivore carnivore omnivore you know that man is an omnivore dash has thick fur on its body sheep has thick fur on its body dash is the gas that is given out during respiration during respiration oxygen is inhaled while carbon dioxide so the answer will be carbon dioxide is the gas that is given out during respiration tiny holes in the body of an insect through which it takes in air are called spiracles on the whole body small pores which are called spiracles these are present in the body of uh, these animals number 5 the four limbs of the bird are modified into we have discussed right now that they are modified into wings a tadpole breathes through gills next is seven dash have sharp front teeth to gnaw at the food rodent rodent have sharp front teeth next c part you will do as well c part these are true false a house fly breathes through spiracles false fish have horny scales on their body they don't have horny scales so it is false the arctic tern makes the long migration yes we have discussed right now locust are the insect that that migrate in winter false a butterfly has a thin and delicate wings true now you will do uh, the question at page number 22 that is e part e part you will encircle circle the odd ones out which uh, you will uh, here are four types of animals which you will circle the animal which is different from other three means three will have the same properties but one will different from the entire all for example butterfly bees house fly and beetle butterfly bees and house fly they are same while the beetle is different so you will encircle beetle locust eel arctic tern and lion locust eel and arctic tern these three migrate but the lion remain at the place so the lion is different eagle vulture lion and next is deer eagle vulture and lion all have the same properties but the deer they are herbivores so deer snail tortoise and turtle snail tortoise and turtle these th three they have shells uh but snake is different lizard snake and crocodile dog lizard snake and crocodile they all are reptiles but dog is animal is mammal okay next you will do a uh, part h and that is guess who i am you will tell you will read the statement and you will tell who i am I am a champion migrator. I travel distance of seventeen thousand kilometer of Arctic turn to Arctic to breed. Antarctic turn to Arctic to breed. I am Arctic turn. I am a fish. I, as I hatch from eggs, my parents die. I am, you know, it is eel. so you will write eel single word you will write as an answer i fly from canada to mexico during the winter i am butterfly monarch monarch and next is i visit pakistan every year during the winter i am siberian crane 
I am an insect. I migrate in summer and destroy standing crops. I am locust. So here your chapter is going to finish. Take care and Allah Hafiz till the next class. Thank you.